Hey everyone and welcome to Backseat Sports. I'm Josh and that's Caleb and we are finally back with another video. It's been a little bit, but this week is the spring game for Nebraska football. Uh, the long awaited, extremely anticipated spring game with a lot of tickets sold, selling out almost instantly. And there's a lot to look forward to going this year. And we're gonna talk about probably the three biggest things heading into the spring game that you need to look for. Yeah, spring game, pretty exciting. That means football's not really on the way, but at least we get to start talking about it. Um, <laughs> and this really, I get amped up every year for it and then just have to wait a few months, but uh, it's exciting. Nonetheless, a ton of things to be excited for with Scott Frost. What is he going to be doing? Obviously it's a spring game. So there's a lot of exciting things to look forward to with Scott Frost and what he's going to be doing as a whole. And the three things we're going to be talking about in this video are the running backs, the quarterback situation and the defense and as a whole and so starting off with the running backs there's a lot of questions right now because we have six running backs four returning at the moment this is quite a list Divino Zigbo, Trey Bryant, Greg Bell, Maurice Washington, Jalen Bradley and Mikhail Wilbon four of those guys are returning Divino Zigbo was as low as the, th the third running back on the depth chart last year and he ended up with the most yards with 493. Trey Bryant had that knee injury last year, so it'll be interesting to see where he's at. Mikhail Wilbon came in in a few pack packages, and uh, so did even Jalen Bradley. They all saw the field last year. And then we have the two new running backs, which are going to be in the mix this year. Greg Bell, who's a JUCO transfer, and he was on the all-JUCO team. And then we also have... Uh, Maurice Washington, who we talked about in the recruiting video, that's going to be really interesting to see. I think Divino Zigbo is going to have the spot, but with six running backs, it'll be really in interesting to see how many are going to play in this spring game, how many are they going to give reps to, and then who's going to be starting running backs for each team. Uh, if you know, and Josh had talked, had even talked about it earlier. Um, are we go is Maurice Washington? Should we redshirt him? Is he good enough where he's going to get playing time? Should we have Greg Bell take the second spot? There's a lot of things that can be intermixed here with the running backs. So th I'm excited to watch that in the spring game. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be a big point of em emphasis for the coaching staff to see what guys really pop, and you get a kind of a true sense of their instincts for the moments in these type of games like this, and what guys like to shine and and you know have some fun on the field. So. I guess the, the probably the biggest thing that everyone's going to be looking at this spring game is the QB battle with at this point now there's three guys in the race for the starting job with Patrick O'Brien announcing it's going to transfer we're left with Adrian Martinez Tristan Gebbia and the sophomore walk-on transfer Andrew Bunch so it's going to be a really interesting spring game to see what these guys can do and the coaching staff has a lot to look at so when it comes to Adrian Martinez obviously he's a true freshman he's a young gun He's extremely athletic. He seems to have a lot of the tangible skills that Scott Frost is looking for in a quarterback. Obviously, the biggest issue for him is that he's a freshman. He's really young, and he has a lot of football in front of him. And so does that something that, you know, the coaches want to take into evaluation when they're looking at the starting job for this season. Obviously, he was recruited by Scott Frost himself, so there could be a little, little you know, self-invested interest there with Scott. So then, of course, we have Tristan Gebbia who's a redshirt freshman, just his second year here at Nebraska, redshirting last year. And so he has, a, again, we have three quarterbacks who have not one snap of Division I football playing time. The coaches have a lot to look at and a lot to evaluate and a lot of decisions to make when it comes down to the starting job. And so with Gebbia, again, he's athletic. He's pretty speedy. Again, he hasn't had a snap in Division I, and he has a lot to prove coming into Nebraska. And so... When it comes to Gebbia, Mario Verdusco said that he needs to focus on having fun. Verdusco thinks that Gebbia tries to overthink a lot of things, gets inside of his own head, has a lot of problems in that aspect. And so that's going to be the biggest issue for Gebbia, looking to see how he handles the pressures and handles some of the failures and mishaps he's going to have during the spring game. Yeah, for sure. And another thing about Gebbia is he's been staying about a half hour, 45 minutes after practice, uh, throwing with the wide receivers trying to get a better handle on it so he definitely he wants the position and he's playing for it and uh he's he's at he's at practice you know for an extra half hour 45 minutes with the wide receivers with the wide receivers every day uh trying to get better and trying to get more comfortable with them i'm excited to see what he can do in my mind he's probably the favorite right now but another guy is andrew bunch a lot of people don't know much about him he's a sophomore walk-on transfer 
from Scottsdale Community College, all right? All right so far, the coaching staff's been extremely happy with him and really surprised at how well he's performed in spring practices. I mean, Frost said he was a, a pleasant surprise and is way more athletic than he thought he was going to be. And, I mean, his dad walked onto Nebraska and Andrew himself said that he'd always dreamed about being a Husker. And so he has the passion for Husker football and in that sense, it's extremely important. And we can see how that plays out on the field. I'm gonna be really excited to see what he can do during the spring game. Yeah, people, uh, coaches like Barrett Rude, uh, the inside linebackers coach, has been talking about how Nebraska guys need to be setting the tone for Nebraska football because we they know who it is. So you know, if Andrew Bunch could be much in the clutch and be a great quarterback, that'd be pretty exciting to see. I mean, out of high school, he really didn't have any Division One offers, so he decided to go the JUCO route and kind of transfer into somewhere. And Nebraska was his place. And again, Coach Verduzco said that he has a lot to offer, and he isn't just a depth filler for the QB position. He actually thinks he has a chance to win the job. So, you know, again, keep an eye out for him. And the final piece when it comes to the QB puzzle, which isn't necessarily related to the spring game. So another thing to keep on your radar is the quarterback Joe Burrow, who's currently on Ohio State's roster. And he's one of the QBs in the battle to win that position. And there's been a lot of rumors from him, even from his own mouth, that if he doesn't win a starting job, he might end up transferring. And Burrow has a lot of connections to Nebraska. His dad was a former NU assistant, and his two brothers played at Nebraska. So he has a lot of connections. His family's around here. And so he's a guy who potentially could end up transferring in. Keep an eye on that moving forward. And finally, we have the defense, which has been... A weak link for Nebraska to say the least in these past few years. Mike Riley, it's safe to say, was not very good with his defense. Eric Chenander, our new def defensive coordinator, had a lot to say and not a lot of good things to say uh, about the defense to start off. He said that a couple of players were doing okay, but besides that, they all need to step up and be better as a whole, and nobody's where they're at. And he said nobody, ha in his mind, has locked in a starting job. So that's pretty interesting. That so. Makes sense. It's going to be fun to see what our defense is going to do. Carlos Davis was talking about how the defensive line has had to kind of reboot and reestablish how to play defense uh, because under Mike Riley, they wanted them to kind of assess what the offensive line was doing and then attack with Chenander's scheme. They don't want them to be reactionary, um, but to make the offensive line react to them. So that's good. Hopefully we'll see our... Our defensive linemen get a lot more push than they did last year. A couple players that some of, some of the other coaches have talked about liking is um, DiCaprio Boodle. And yeah. he's he's actually played in a few different... They're playing him at different positions. Um, at corner, nickel corner, and even safety. So he's getting a lot of practice at a lot of different things. They like his athletic ability. So I think he might be one. And they also like Lamar Jackson as well. That's good to hear. And obviously Aaron Williams too, as he was a big part of our defense for the past few years. I'm really excited to see what kind of schemes and setups we're gonna be using on our defense, at least a little bit of it in its basics. And I'm really excited to see 90,000 people pack out Memorial Stadium for a glorified <laughs> practice on what could be a rainy day. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to defense, I'm just, I'm just looking to see um, what type of plays on the ball we can make and what type of energy, even though it's a spring game, we show defensively because I just feel like the last few years we've been missing something we've been missing a little bit of that fire and obviously the guys aren't gonna be able to hit as hard as they'd like to um, but I just want to see that drive that motivation and see what they can bring to the table and I'm excited to see what the defense can do yeah the the Nebraska Cornhuskers are actually only practiced outside one time because the weather had been so bad and they picked a, yeah. a crappy day actually to practice this last week and the the defensive coordinator uh, said he was unhappy with how how little motivation mm. that the players had when they went out in the cold weather they kind of did that on purpose and they wanted to see fighting the players so if it is a little bit yeah. worse weather um, i hope they they show what the coaches have been wanting to see and as always if you liked the video like comment favorite and subscribe to our channel for more sports content and we really do want to hear what you have down below in the comment section what are you most excited for to see for the Nebraska Cornhuskers this season. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Who do you think is going to be the starting quarterback? All that stuff. We love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, I'm Caleb. That's Josh. This has been Backseat Sports, and we'll see you next video. See ya. Offensive line, offensive line coach these last few years with Kavanaugh. But now Greg Austin is our new offensive line coach again. 
brought to Nebraska from UCF. Austin, actually, interestingly enough, started as a grad assistant at Oregon with Scott Frost there as well.